Hello, Namaste viewers. I am Rainy and welcome to our channel Physiohiller. In today's video, I am going to talk about a condition that is alarmingly becoming a global burden for long-term disability. As per epidemiological literature, stroke is a leading cause of serious long-term disability for adults and is second most common cause of death worldwide. In India, the Indian Global Burden of Disease study estimates that stroke is the largest contributor to disability adjusted life years. And the alarming fact is that anyone can have a stroke and now at any age. Previously, stroke was considered to be an elderly condition with most cases reported were of more than 60 years of age. But now stroke is happening in younger age at a rapid rate. As per study, worldwide around 2 million individuals in the age group of 18 to 50 years experience stroke and these numbers are continuing to rise. But as threatening as stroke sounds, it is preventable. This video will help you to understand what is stroke, how stroke occurs, what are the warning signs of stroke, what is your role when stroke happens to your near and dear ones, and tips for few lifestyle modification that can help to prevent stroke. This video is also the first of a series about stroke rehabilitation and I will be covering about life of patients after stroke, their psychology, do's and don'ts after stroke and how physiotherapy helps in rebuilding the life of a stroke victim. What is the general meaning of the term stroke? Stroke is an act of hitting or striking someone or something like a blow. Or we can say stroke in Hindi aghat. Because that is how quickly stroke appears, all of a sudden. So what happens in the brain that leads to brain stroke? Let us understand that first. Blood supply to our brain is carried by two arteries. Internal carotid artery that supplies 80% of blood to the brain and vertebral artery that supplies remaining 20%. They both form circle of villus and spread their branches all over the brain to supply blood. Blood carries oxygen to our brain. Stroke happens when blood flow to the brain is reduced or completely cut off. The area of brain that receives less blood get damaged due to lack of oxygen and it is called stroke. Stroke can happen in two ways. First and most common type is ischemic stroke. It happens when the brain's blood vessels become narrowed or blocked causing severely reduced blood flow which is also known as ischemia. These blocked vessels are caused by fatty deposits or blood clots or other debris that may form within the blood vessels or travel through the bloodstream mostly from the heart and lodge in the blood vessels in the brain. If the clot form within the blood vessels it is called as thrombus and if that clot has traveled from elsewhere such as from heart and lodge itself to one of the brain's blood vessels then it is called an embolus. So ischemic stroke can be divided into thrombotic stroke and embolic stroke. Embolic stroke most often happens due to irregular heartbeat known in medical term as atrial fibrillation. The second type is hemorrhagic stroke. It occurs when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures or leaks. Factors that may lead to hemorrhagic stroke are uncontrolled high blood pressure, over treatment with anticoagulants that is blood thinners, aneurysms that is bulges at weak spot on your blood vessels or rupture of a thin walled tangle of blood vessels which is known as arteriovenous malformation. When a person is having a stroke, they may appear suddenly confused. They will have difficulty in understanding speech and when they try to speak, their words may get slurred. They may suddenly find it difficult to raise their arms or control one half of the body that may cause them to stumble, lose their balance and fall. One side of mouth may droop when they try to speak or when they are asked to smile. They may have problems seeing clearly as vision gets blurred. A sudden severe headache which may be accompanied by vomiting, dizziness, altered consciousness or bleed from ear, nose and throat may indicate severe stroke. When you or someone near is having these signs and symptoms, think fast and act fast. F stands for face. Try to smile or ask the person to smile. See if the side of the mouth droops. A stands for arms. Try or ask the person to raise both arms. See whether one side of arm is unable to rise. S stands for speech. 
try to speak a simple line or ask the person to repeat a line. Check whether the speech is getting slurred. Last is T and it stands for time. In this situation, every minute counts. If you experience such symptoms on yourself or observe in someone else, don't wait for the symptoms to stop. Call emergency and reach hospital immediately. It is essential that the primary treatment is given as soon as possible because most stroke, especially ischemic stroke, is reversible if correct treatment is given within 3 hour period of time. In case of ischemic stroke, if the thrombolytic therapy is given within 3 hours of onset, then blood supply can be restored that will reverse the symptoms of stroke. In case of hemorrhagic stroke, immediate surgery is needed to repair the ruptured blood vessel. Sometimes it may happen that symptoms of stroke will appear for few minutes and disappear completely or may disappear in less than 24 hours even without treatment. This is called the mini stroke or in medical term transient ischemic attack that is TIA. TIA is caused by temporary decrease in blood supply to parts of brain and it is considered as a warning sign that such episode may happen again or a full blown stroke may occur. So whether it is a mini stroke or an actual stroke, make sure you reach hospital as soon as you can. Now that we are clear what is happening to the brain when stroke occur, let us understand what is causing these changes and how we can prevent it. There are few modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors of stroke. Non-modifiable risk factors or the factors that we cannot control are age, gender and heredity. Chances of intracranial atherosclerosis or plaque formation is more with increase in age. This may lead to ischemic stroke. There is much less difference but stroke occur more often in male than in female. But mortality rate due to stroke is higher in female than male. Ethnicity and heredity has been identified as markers of risk for stroke. So those were the factors we cannot control. Let us now learn what are the modifiable factors or the factors that we can control. And believe it or not, most of the stroke cases occur due to these modifiable factors. Modifiable risk factors are high blood pressure, also known as hypertension, heart disease, diabetes mellitus, obesity, smoking, alcohol consumption and sometimes oral contraceptives. Hypertension is the major independent modifiable risk factor for intracranial stenosis. The impact of hypertension as a risk factor for atherosclerosis is established from autopsy studies. Various cardiac disease have been shown to increase risk of stroke but atrial fibrillation is the most powerful and treatable cardiac precursor of stroke. Diabetes mellitus causes an increased susceptibility to atherosclerosis and increased prevalence of other risk factors such as hypertension, obesity and abnormal blood lipid. Obesity is positively related to hypertension and with stroke incidence. As per study, excess body weight is the sixth most important risk factor contributing to the overall burden of disease worldwide. Cigarette smoking increases risk of ischemic stroke nearly two times. Study shows that subjects who had stopped smoking demonstrated prompt reduction in major stroke risk within two to four years. Ischemic stroke showed a curvilinear relationship with the protective effect of alcohol for low to moderate consumption and increases risk for high consumption. Heavy alcohol consumption increased the risk of any stroke while light or moderate alcohol consumption may be protective against ischemic stroke. Lastly, oral contraceptives with high estrogen content can be a risk factor for stroke. William Shakespeare had once said, Our bodies are our gardens, our wills are our gardeners. A healthy lifestyle not only changes your body, it changes your mind, your attitude and your mood. And if we do that willingly, it becomes a healthy investment. Few tips to keep your body stroke free are, Eat food low in saturated fats, trans fats and cholesterol and high in fiber. Limit salt intake if you already have a blood pressure. Keep your body weight within normal range of body mass index. Get regular exercise to stay fit, not skinny. Quit smoking and limit your alcohol intake. Get a regular health checkup for cholesterol, blood pressure, 
diabetes and heart diseases If you have any question or suggestion about today's video please write in the comment section If the video was helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe See you on the next time bye bye